everyone. Welcome back to the Thrill of the Thrift. I hope that uh, you all had a fantastic weekend. Uh, it is uh, time for a thrift DIY, um, which is Pinterest expired. Oh my God, why do I keep saying expired? Okay, I can't blame it on being tired because I had plenty of sleep. I don't know what my problem is. Anyway, it's Pinterest inspired DIY. And um, so I'm going to start with um, these two lamps that I purchased for $4.99 each at the Salvation Army. And what we're going to need to do is, if you see here, I already dismantled uh, the cord, uh, the, the uh, socket part. So, um, whoops, I'm losing parts. So, what I'm going to do is just show you um, how to go about taking this bad boy apart. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is take off this uh, felt stuff that's on the bottom so we could get at the cord. And it just pulls off. Alright. Let me unrubber band this cord. Okay, the next thing is this thing right here just untwists. Alright, so I did try to actually save the socket, you know, open it up in the whole nine yards, and but guess what? I'm not doing that today. I am just going to cut it off with some wire cutters and then from under here we'll just pull it out all right um, if you could see there's this little screw that I have to take out in order to get the socket off so let's see here I hate flathead screwdrivers. Okay, so now we can unscrew it and get rid of it. And then we're going to screw this back on to the lamp. Oh, oh my God, that's like nails on a chalkboard. Holy moly, I am so sorry. All right. Um. These are now ready to be spray painted. Um, I am going to be spray painting these a flat black paint, uh, which I just bought at Walmart for 97 cents a can. Alrighty, time to spray paint. everyone we're back uh, as you could see we're all painted up and ready to go I just wanted to mention that if uh, you recall the lamps had these things on the top to hold the um, I forget what they call it the thing that holds the lampshade um, all you have to do is loosen this nut and uh, they'll unscrew right off the top for you forgot to mention that before okay so um, what you're gonna need next for this project is a solar light of your choice whatever style you would like um, they are already putting fall stuff out people like seriously I don't even want to think about fall but anywho um, so the you know the choices are kind of crappy so this was what I could find. And uh, we don't need this part. We're just going to pull that off. And what we're going to be doing is gluing this to the top. Making ourselves lamp posts. Solar operated lamp posts for outside. I think these are so damn cute. 
I just wish I could have found better um, solar uh, tops. I don't, I wanted to try to find the kind that look like um, the light on a lamppost, but um, couldn't find them. So this is what we're using today. Okay, so uh, you're gonna need a glue gun and you're gonna need some E6000. Um, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take this little metal piece off and I'm going to, I'm just going to use um, hot glue just to glue these on the top. I don't know if my glue gun is hot enough yet. Oh, no, it's not because guess what? I forgot to turn it on. That would help. All right. So, as soon as my glue gun heats up, we'll be back. going to put a little bit of E6000 right inside the hole here because I want to make sure that it's not going to go anywhere and I'm also going to use some hot glue because this is instant gratification and we're going to put it right on top just like that I want to make sure that it's straight let me hold it while the hot glue dries. I'm also gonna put um, a little bit of um, hot glue underneath here, um, just to make sure that it um, doesn't go anywhere. And my E6000 is oozing out all over my table. I hate when that happens. one on. Just hold it into place. Looking good. Just let that dry. Oh my goodness, these are going to be so cute. And I think what I might do is um, after this dries, um, wrap something around this area here to cover up the glue um, perhaps uh, a piece of black um, pipe cleaner um, I think would probably do the trick I'm gonna for some reason this one doesn't want to stay so I'm just gonna add more hot glue Put my glue stick in here hopefully it'll stay I don't know. We'll see. It's not looking too promising at this moment. Let me see if I can get it over here. Like that move? Yep, that's what you got to do sometimes just to uh, <laughs> push that glue stick along when you can't use your hands. Hey, whatever works, you know. Ooh, all right, this one stuck really well, but I'm still going to put more glue around here. All right. Okay, I'm going to let these dry really good, and I shall be back. Okay, guys, I just wanted to show you um, the finished product. Um, in the dark. Um, it's not dark dark. It's just in my garage But I wanted you guys just to get an idea of what they look at look like um, When they'll be outside in the dark. Okay, everyone here are the finished um, 
lamp posts. Um, thought I would throw them next to this um, this really cute um, old antique bench flip that I um, just recently did. It's not done because I'm trying to make a cushion for the seat. I'm going to buy some black and white buffalo uh, check fabric and uh, make a cushion for the seat. But uh, here I'll show you, I'll give you a little bit up close look at the bench. Um, it's distressed. This bench, um, I think I paid $15 for it at the Goodwill. And um, it was just this old brown, you know, bench. And I just sanded her up, painted it, and did the... Um, stencil up there and if anybody out there can tell me how to do stenciling without getting all that bleed through please leave it in the comment section below because it was a pain in the butt it bled through I had to touch it all up with a fine uh, brush and just a big pain in the butt but anyways I hope you guys like this DIY um, if you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And if you do subscribe, hit that little notification bell so YouTube can let you know whenever I upload a video. All right, everybody, that'll do it for this uh, DIY. And um, I hope you guys have a great week and hope to see you in my next video. Bye, everyone.